All right, today we're going to be evaluating logarithmic expressions uh, without using your calculator. For those of you who have not seen the other videos, uh, this is your logarithmic function right here. This is your, uh, your formula for a logarithm. And it is y equals log base. That's what that b stands for. X. And all a logarithm is, to put it simply, is another expression or another way to express an exponent, which is what this is. Okay, this corresponds to that. So, base, base, to, to whatever exponent y, y is always your exponent, and it is up here too, corresponds, equals x. X is, of course, just whatever this is right here, whatever it's equal to whatever that is. So let's say they give you an expression like this, log with a base of 4, 64. First thing I'm going to want to do is make this look like that, so it's easy to recognize. So I just say y equals 64. Um, so now it looks similar, see? Well, now all you got to do is just plug in, okay? B is your base, so... This is B right here, this is X, and that's still Y, right? We just want to plug in this formula. So if we know that base to the Y power equals X, right? Then you know that your base right here is 4. Your exponent is still a mystery, so it's Y. But we know that X is 64. All this is asking now is... What power do I have to raise 4 to to get 64? Without using your calculator, you can find that pretty easy. 4 times 4 is 16, right? So 4 to the second power is not going to work. See? If you raise it to the third power, 1, 2, 3, then 4 times 4 is 16. 16 times 4 is indeed 64. So we now know that... 4 to the third power equals 64, therefore y equals 3. And that is how you evaluate a logarithmic expression without a calculator.